Wait, 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 wait. Your draft is tonight? Oh, tomorrow? Oh, Sunday night? Don't worry. We believe every NBA fan that plays fantasy football should also play fantasy basketball. There is so much happening in the NBA right now, I had to jump on for a quick emergency episode before your fantasy basketball draft for points leagues. Now, Isaiah Hartenstein, down with an injury. Kawhi Leonard, out indefinitely. Joel Embiid, no back-to-backs? For infinity? For infinity and beyond? Joel Embiid is not playing back-to-backs. That is the craziest thing I've ever heard, and there are definitely fantasy basketball implications. So in this episode, we're going to use hashtag basketball with Yahoo rankings to just kind of see what the projections are saying and make sure you have the necessary data and intel so you can dominate your draft and eventually win your league championship. So here we are back on hashtag basketball.com. Listen, this is one of my favorite, favorite resources and tools for fantasy basketball. It's free, but there's also a paid version. I think like $2 a month. If you play, pay $2 a month, you get their premium tools. I would recommend it to anybody who's serious about fantasy basketball. So let's go ahead and take it from the top. We typically start our ranking shows from one and we move down. We don't really go backwards, but I think this season we're actually going to also do some in-season ranking videos because people really love to keep up with that. So let's jump right in. Number one, Luca. I have no problem with that. Not my number one player, but I get it. As long as you pick one of the, the normal top three, I'm okay with it. Giannis Antetokounmpo moves into number two. And again, this is Yahoo rankings. One point, 1.2 rebounds, 1.5 assists, three points for blocks, three points for steals, and one negative point for turnovers. And Giannis is number two. I'm not doing that. I like the Joker more than Giannis for points leagues. Number three, the Joker. I'm okay with that. Victor Webinyama at four for points leagues. I think that's a little low for Wimby. I'm taking Wimby number one. I think that... If you think about players who have that second year leap, like the sophomore jump, like think about the potential of this guy. Like it's otherworldly. They're projecting, they're projecting that he's going to average 24.1 points per game, 11.6 total rebounds, 4.4 assists, 1.4 steals, and 3.9 blocks per game. Come on, man. Number four? Where they do that at? I got Wimby all day. And those are just his projections based on Yahoo scoring, according to hashtag basketball. They are projecting that he's going to average 56.93 points per game for fantasy. That is wild. Number five, Anthony Davis. That's spot on for me. Number six, SGA. I have him higher. I would put him up at about four. Number seven, Joel Embiid. Come on, man. I don't give a shit, Sue Puppy. I am not drafting Joel Embiid, period. Let alone at seven. At seven? Come on, man. Where they do that at? That is questionable work. Drafting your man at seven. I am... I have never heard in the history, in my long-legged life, as a basketball fan, as a fantasy analyst, just as a human being, I have never heard of anybody in any profession resting back-to-backs in, like, for eternity. Indefinitely, he's resting back-to-backs. This is a huge red flag. Now, there might be value for him if you get him at the bottom of the second, because he's still going to play, if he's if he's healthy every single game, he's going to play about 60-something games. But he ain't going to be healthy every game. He's also going to be out besides the back-to-back. So I'm like, whoa, I am all the way not messing with that. I am out on Joel Embiid. Number eight, we got Jason Tatum. I'm okay with that. DeMontis Sabonis at nine. I'm a little higher. No, I think that's about right. LeBron James maybe a little lower. Trey Young. At 11, I am higher on Trey Young. I probably have him up right after DeMontis Sabonis here. 
BetOnline is the world's most trusted betting platform and your number one source for everything sports betting. Every stat, matchup, breakdown, and even live odds and spreads to bet on during games. With the largest catalog of odds on everything from football, MLB playoffs, NHL, NBA, to political props, when the game's over, head on over to our online casino and get in on a game of blackjack or poker or unwind with one of our over 150 slot games. Head to the website today to get in on the action with America's most trusted site for online wagering. Bet online. The game starts here. Uh, ja Morant. Ja with the blicky on IG Live Morant. Huh? I am. Uh, listen, I would draft Ja Morant if he dropped to me for the middle of the second, maybe. He's growing on me. My concern with him is not basketball-wise. I think he want, he's one of the most gifted talents that we have in the NBA, and I believe he's going to perform on some level here this season. I just have concerns of the mistakes that the young man makes off the court. Like, listen, catch me in a club on IG Live with my homie making mistakes once. Maybe. Catch me on IG Live or Facebook Live with my homie again, second time with the blicky. Maybe. Third time? It can't don't don't do a third time, Ja. That's my concern. I just don't want the young man. I I don't want any mis, any kind of energy from that. So I'm staying away from Ja just for my own personal reasons. But again, not a bad spot to draft him at 12. 13 Tyrese Halliburton. I'm way higher on Tyrese Halliburton for points leagues. I think because he's such a great category leagues player, sometimes he's pushed down. I think these projections, they're saying he might average 21 a game, 3.9 rebounds, 11.1 assists. Listen, I, I think that he could definitely do that, maybe a little bit more. Number 14, James Harden. If you didn't hear the news, Kawhi Leonard is out indefinitely. Let that sink in. So we don't know when he's coming back. They are actually like opening their new arena. There's a whole bunch of stuff happening in the LA Clippers organization. And now the beard is back in the driver's seat. Him being at 14 is bold for my taste. However, I'm not mad at anybody who would do that. I don't think it's a dumb move. I definitely, it's not, I, I don't know if I would be bold enough to do it, but definitely, definitely legit considering the news on Kawhi. LaMelo Ball at 15, I think that's great. I'm okay with that. Scotty Barnes at 16, yes. Anthony Edwards at 17. Now, some people are lower on Ant-Man. Ant-Man has never been a first-round guy. I think he finished in points league somewhere in the late 20s, right? So to move him up to 17, I think is a bit of a reach, but I'm not against it because I know that he has the potential to do great things. And also, the departure of Car Anthony Towns will lead to some type of boost in his value. Number 18, Jalen Brunson. Yes. Number 19, the odd man out. One of the most like, like undervalued and under appreciated fantasy basketball players, Devin Booker at 19. 20 KD. I'm okay with that. 21 Donovan Mitchell. I'm probably a little higher on him. 22 Banquero. Paolo that is. Yes. 23 Alperin Shingun. Maybe a slight bit higher on him. 24 Darren Fox, I'm okay with that. 25, Bam Adebayo, I'm okay with that. 26, Dame Dalla, a.k.a. Damian Lillard at 26, I'm okay with that. 27, Kyrie Irving. Now, Kyrie Irving is going to be cooking with hot ache increase this season. But many people have concerns about the Dallas Mavericks because they have a crummy, poop-riddled, fantasy basketball playoff schedule. So keep that in mind. I'm definitely down to draft him here at 27. I wouldn't draft him and Luca though. You got to pick one or the other. 28, my man Cade, the motor Cade Cunningham. Yes. 29, Stephen Curry, Stephen Curry, Steph Curry, maybe. 30, Zion Williamson. Yes. 31, Carl Anthony Towns. This is criminal. This is Michael Jackson, Michael Jackson leaning over with the string. Smooth criminal criminal. This is not good. I am way higher on Carl Anthony Towns. I would probably have him in the 20s somewhere. Maybe 
middle of the second round, late second round. Um, I'm higher on him here. 31, I think, is would be a steal. I do not think he will fall that far. 32, Tyrese Maxey. That feels all right. 33, Laurie Markkinen. I'm okay with that. 34, Jalen Johnson. Okay. That's kind of where I see him. I think we might be getting a little outside of his league. He's, he's gone like from 60, 50, 40. Now he's in the 30s. That's wild. But I, I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it because I believe. Jalen, and let me know in the comments if you guys are down to draft the all Jalen team because I, I think I might just have to do it on the strength. Like, I might have to just draft the all Jalen team. Number 35, Jalen Brown. Yes. 36, DeJounte Murray. Yes. 37, Jaron Jackson Jr. I am out on Jaron Jackson Jr. That is too high for me. 38, Chet Holmgren. I'll take him higher than that. 38, I think that's too low for Chet. People have concerns about Chet because they think that he won't be able to produce at a higher level that or, or similar level that he does for, for category leagues. Keep this in mind. I mentioned at the beginning of the episode, Isaiah Hartenstein out. That means Chet Holmgren will be playing center. When I tell you this young man, when he plays center, he goes all the way off. More blocks, more rebounds. Now, this is going to be on a temporary basis, but if I could have a strong start with Chet Holmgren, beasting out at center and then Isaiah Hartenstein gets brought back in and maybe his some of those statistics like rebounding and blocks decrease slightly I'm okay with that because you're still getting value I would probably have him in the late 20s early 30s not this late at 38 number 39 Jimmy Butler I am out on Jimmy Butler get him out of here and don't get me wrong one of my favorite players I always say it hard nose NBA player similar to the 90s. He's like the Xavier McDaniel of the day, except he's a lot better. But I'm not drafting him for fantasy. No, 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 no. I am out on Jimmy Butler. Pascal Siakam, almost like a forgotten man. I'm okay with him at 40. The NBA graded sports card giveaway is back. Last year, we gave away two cards. We gave away a rookie Cade Cunningham and a rookie Josh Giddy. both in prestige mint condition this year we are back for more but we're not just giving away two cards we're giving away four cards and to celebrate the new NBA season we want you to enter all you have to do to enter is visit our Apple podcast page and leave us a thoughtful review at the end of your review I want you to drop the name of the card that you want the cards that we're giving away this year we have a rookie Darius Garland, PSA 9. We have a rookie, LaMelo Ball, PSA 9. And then we also have a rookie, SGC 10, Zach Levine rookie card. And the fourth card is our mystery card. So if you're interested in that one, at the end of your review, just write the word mystery. We will announce the winners on the Sunday live stream on October 20th. Make sure you enter today. 41, Rudy Gobert. That seems a little high for Ruby, uh, Rudy. 42, Evan Mobley. That is too low. I like Mobley in the mid-30s. Fred Van Vliet. I was thinking about Fred the Skeet Van Vliet, but that would be very, very, very inappropriate. Fred Van Vliet, Fred Van Vliet at 43. No, Fred Van Vliet at 43. No, I'm sorry. Scratch that. Can we erase that from the episode? I'm joking. Um, 43 for Fred, I think, is a little low. I would have him a little higher. Vucevic at 44. I'm out on Vucevic. If you want to take him here, that's fine. I have him lower. I don't want anything to do with him. 45, Emmanuel Quickly. Yes. 46, Jalen Williams. Maybe a little higher on him. 47, Paul George. Now, yes, we have injury concerns about Paul George, but if... He is healthy. I'm all about that PG-13 life. I am a little higher on Paul George. 48, Kyle Kuzma. I'm out on Kyle Kuzma. I think he's going to have an okay year, but I'm just not messing with him. 49, Jamal Murray. I think that's too high. Julius Randle at 50. I think that is a little too low. 51, DeMar, not like us. DeRozan, I'm okay with that. RJ Barrett at 52, maybe a little too high. I like RJ for points leagues, but let's not get crazy. 
Let's not get cuckoo. Let's not get cuckoo for RJ Puffs. Number 53, Josh the Giddler. Giddy at 53. I love that. I am all in on the Giddler this season. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. At number 54, Desmond, bring the pain, Bane. Ooh. I came to bring the Bane hardcore to your brain. At 54, I'm okay with that. Miles Bridges at 55, slap your cap off your head? Maybe. 56, Cam Thomas? Yes. 57, Nicholas Claxton? Maybe. 58, Franz Wagner? I am higher on Franz Wagner. And at 59, Kawhi with the busted thigh, Leonard. I am out on Kawhi. Even though at 59, there is some gambling value, if you like playing like like pick them. If you like playing like underdog pick them, maybe this is a pick them situation. Higher or lower? I'm going to say lower. I am out lower body injury specifically. Oh, you see what I did there? Oh, can I get an air horn? Oh. Okay. Get yourself together, Robin. So, Kawhi Leonard, don't draft Kawhi Leonard, guys. Listen. Someone left me a comment on Reddit, and big shout out to Reddit. Anybody who left a question or a comment in our recent Ask Me Anything on Reddit, big shout out to you. Almost 300 people dropped comments. It was wild, yo. Like, I, honestly, I am, like, not about that Reddit life because I understand how the culture of Reddit can be. And these guys were so warm, friendly. I think of all the comments, we had one guy that was like, that didn't help. This is what I'm asking. And then I responded, sorry, we couldn't help. Sorry, we couldn't help. But other than that, it was an amazing experience. As somebody mentioned in that Reddit thread, they said, hey, that comment that you made about Kawhi, it's aging very well. Thank you, sir. Because here's a news flash for you. The guy who's like, but I'm going to get him at 70. I'm going to get him at 80. Let him be somebody else's problem. Why would I draft Kawhi at 59 if I could draft Darius Garland at 62? Or Franz Wagner at 58. Stay away from this man. And don't get me wrong. I think he's one of the greatest basketball players of our time. But he don't play. Say it with me. Play. He don't play. Come on, man. It is hot dog water with the brat worse residue soaking in a tub of Dumpster juice. I am out on Kawhi Leonard. Number 60, De'Aaron, DeAndre Ayton. Maybe. 61, Brandon Ingram. Maybe. 62, Darius Garland. I'm higher on Darius. I would reach in the late 50s for him. I love him. People are sleeping. Zach Levine, uh, that's too much mystery for me. I don't know what's happening. I'm out on Levine, but I'm okay with him going at 63. 64, Jared Allen. Yes. Yusuf Nurkic at 65. Come on. 66, Kristaps Porzingis, just like the others. Stay far, far away mystery work we don't know what's gonna happen 67 jordan leaving the kids at the pool pool with the baddies maybe maybe at 67 tyler hero is 68 if you've been a, a a follower or a listener you know i've been low on tyler hero for the whole time that we've had this channel and i'm coming around i'm gonna give him a maybe maybe for tyler hero Miles Turner at 69, hey, yo, maybe. Jalen Green at 70, eh, maybe. 71 at, at, for Tobias Harris, yes. I am actually a little higher on Tobias. I love drafting him this year. Devin Vassell, stay away. Derek White at 73, maybe that's a little too low. Anthony Simons at 74, mm, I'm out on Anthony Simons. I think that might be a little too high. Kobe White at 75, I think that's a steal. I think that is a steal. I would take him maybe in the late 60s. Um, D'Angelo Russell at 76. Love that pick. Love that spot. 77, Jakob Pertl. Um, nah, I'm okay with that. 78, Bradley Bill. I'm okay with that. 79, Russell Westbrook. No, I don't want that. I don't want no parts of that. I'm lower. Colin Sexton at 80. People are high on Colin Sexton. I'm like, I'm not there yet. He's... I, <laughs> You smell that? It smells like the waiver wire. 
I grabbed him too many times off the waiver wire for me to be grabbing him at 80. So maybe I need to see something. They're projecting he's going to average 20, 2.9, 4.9. Uh, let me see it. I, I, don't, I don't know if I'm ready for that. Jaden Ivey, on the other hand, at 81, I totally believe in that. 82, Jalen Duran. I am way higher on Jalen Duran. I'll probably draft him in the, shoot, like, Early 70s, late 60s, like, I am totally fine with that. Like, this is a steal for me on Yahoo. Yahoo players, pay attention to Jalen Duran. They are projecting that he averages a double-double, 12.8 and 10.9. 12.8 points, 10.9 rebounds. Come on, man. Get with the freaking program. Jonas Valachunas at 83. Eh, he's too old. I'm, I don't want no parts of that. Aaron Gordon, 84. Come on, man. He... He he ain't got the dag on, you know, the the hoverboard. He got the 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 Orlando. The, I ain't really felt Aaron Gordon since he had the Orlando Magic, you know, dag on mascot mascot on a hoverboard. That's what I'm thinking. But that ain't it no more. Still valuable. I don't know if I want to draft him, but I think the spot is okay. C.J. McCollum at 85. I hear some people out here drafting C.J. McCollum. I am not drafting C.J. McCollum. 85 is value. Not my kind of value. I do not want him on my team. 86, Clint Capella. Mm, that's fair. Terry Rozier, 87. Fair. 88, Jeremy Grant. Fair. 89, Amin Thompson. Now, let's talk about Amin Thompson versus a player like CJ McCollum. CJ, we've seen the best of CJ. He'll only get worse from here. Amin, we don't know what we're going to see. There's so much more upside there. So, for me, I'm more interested in a player like Amin Thompson because the mystery of what could be is very, very enticing. The history of what I do know is very frightening when it comes to CJ McCollum. Did I rhyme there? Let me know in the comments. Did I rhyme? Did I rhyme? Number 90, Mark Williams, maybe. Jamar, Jabari Smith Jr., maybe at 91. Zubak at 92. Brandon Miller at 93. I think that is way too low for Brandon Miller. 94, Drew Holiday, yes. 95, Chris Middleton. I was higher on Chris Middleton. There are reports that he's injured. Stay away, stay away. 96, Michael Porter Jr. 97, my man and your man about to spin the block. Trace Jackson Davis, I am all in on Trace. <laughs> on Trace Jackson Davis. Mikael Bridges at 98, I think that is value beyond value beyond value. Grab Mikael Bridges. I, I would grab him a little earlier than that. Like, actually way earlier than that. Yeah, like, I'm not okay with that. Walker Kessler at 99, maybe. And then at 100, Austin Reeves, maybe. Maybe.